Hi, welcome to this week's Commercial Real Estate Report. I'm Tom Dakin, business reporter at the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel and writer of the Land and Space Commercial Real Estate blog at jsonline.com. If a proposed 400-room hotel opens in two years at the Potawatomi Bingo Casino in Milwaukee's Menominee Valley, it would likely bring a spillover effect of casino and hotel guests going to other businesses that target tourists. But those other businesses shouldn't expect the equivalent of a royal flush. In other Midwestern communities that have added casino hotels, there hasn't been a huge spillover effect. That's according to business operators that I've talked to in cities that include Green Bay, home to the Oneida Casino, and Wisconsin Dells near Ho-Chunk Gaming's Baraboo operation. The Potawatomi tribe says that about 90% of the guests at its proposed hotel will be new overnight visitors to Milwaukee. However, gaming experts point out that people who stay at casino hotels stay there mainly because they like to gamble and they like to catch live entertainment, both of which are offered by the Potawatomi Casino, which also has four restaurants, with a fifth one planned at the new hotel. As a result, that will likely minimize some of the spillover effect for other tourism attractions and restaurants in Milwaukee. For more on this story, look for an upcoming article in the journal Sentinel and at jsonline.com.